Right now, America is at a new energy crossroads. Two paths lay before us. Path A, or the Clean Energy Path, leads us to new job opportunities and helps America retain its global competitive advantage in the new energy economy. It ensures a cleaner world for us all. Path A is a sustainable path. Path B takes us down the status quo path. This is the path we've been down before. It continues to reward big pollution. It gives developing countries like India and China a competitive advantage. Path B is not a sustainable path. The urgency of climate change means we need immediate transformation of change in the United States. That means that Path A is the only option for our country if we're going to have a clean and sustainable energy system. And while we know it is good environmentally, we also will learn that it's great for our economy. At EDF, we're mapping a way for a sustainable energy future. Change is coming in the world of electricity delivery. Soon, the cost of installing solar panels will be less than the energy savings it creates. Customers will, therefore, rightfully demand that their excess power be purchased by the utility. A market of smart appliances will mature and customers will demand that their utility is compatible. One of our projects at EDF is the Pecan Street Project, where we're trying to create a model for the entire country. And we're trying to make sure that from day one, Smart Grid includes environmental benefits and benefits for consumers. In the next few years, renewable energy will draw increased attention from both the U.S. Congress and state legislatures. EDF has had an important role in passing cutting-edge renewable energy strategies in key states like Texas, California, and North Carolina. Clean energy also includes smarter fossil fuel strategies, such as coal plants capturing and storing their carbon dioxide emissions, a process known as CCS. From an environmental viewpoint, it's a way of taking a substantial amount of CO2 and putting it underground where it stays. As a technical matter, CCS is ready for deployment now. For decades, oil producers have been injecting CO2 to increase oil production, and in most instances, it will be possible to show that the CO2 is being permanently sequestered. Finally, from the viewpoint of geologic sequestration as a technology, the co-economic benefit of being able to produce oil at the same time you sequester CO2 will assure that we get more sequestration earlier than we otherwise would, which is good for the, for the fight against global warming. Other smart fossil fuel strategies include addressing impacts from the rise of shale gas drilling in the United States. With the advent of new horizontal drilling technology, Regions with large shale formations are seeing a natural gas rush, including in large urban areas. The good news is that by capturing the emissions from the natural gas production in shale formations, the natural gas companies can actually make more revenues. It's a win-win solution, more money for the producers and better air quality. Often called the low-hanging fruit in the transition toward a clean energy economy, energy efficiency opportunities are abundant. Energy efficiency is the most cost-effective tool we have for reducing greenhouse gas emissions. EDF is involved in numerous projects around the country to remove market barriers and show the real viability of increased energy efficiency. Uh, we focused on a couple of historically black colleges and universities to take a look at what are the energy efficiency opportunities available. What we found in just the past year was $1 million in no-cost savings that the university found in just looking at simple energy efficiency measures. And with a $3 million investment, in less than five years, the university could see $13.7 million in annual savings. The bottom line is, energy efficiency saves money. Saving money while protecting the environment, yes, it can happen. When I describe these two paths to my daughter, she looks at me funny and says, Dad, why would anyone want to choose path B? EDF, accelerating the clean energy revolution. For more information, visit edf.org slash energy.